And how cool is that? So this is the hydroponic system that I brought about five or six weeks ago from eBay. Super cheap system. There's a video on this. I have modified it. We're going to go through the pros and cons of what has happened. It is working awesome, by the way. And in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way of doing hydroponics with no power. You don't need any pumps or anything. You just need basic household items or items you can get for nothing, technically. Anyway, let's get started. I'll go through the basics of what I've done to the system and all the fun that's happened in the last five weeks. Well, it has been a month since I've installed this very cheap eBay hydroponic system. I have modified it, as you can see. So if you haven't seen my original video, that's the original video there. So that's what you get when you buy it from eBay and all the cheap online places. That video there is what I did to modify it. But I'll go through the basics of how it's been working for the last, I think it's been about five weeks or so since I've set it up this way. Very, very easy. It is working super well. So these are just some random type of tomato plant. They are powering on. So they're growing a lot faster in this system than they are in the dirt. And I do have some way down over there, which you can't even see, which are nowhere near the size of these tomatoes. Going really well. Okay, so what I've done to modify this, this is fully solar. So we have a solar panel up there just getting early morning sun at the moment. So it works for probably most of the day, unless it's super cloudy. But the good thing with these Beto buckets or Dutch buckets, check out the roots in there, is once that's turned off, the humidity stays in the bucket and that keeps enough oxygen to your roots as well as the water in the bottom will keep the roots hydrated so they're not gonna flop or anything like that. So I'm in the subtropics, so it gets silly, silly hot here. This is just the start of spring. Yeah, in summer it gets way too hot. Like the humidity and the heat kind of melt everything. So I don't even think tomato plants are gonna survive in this cage, even with fans in the middle of summer. Last summer was a bit of a disaster, but this is my first year growing stuff like this. So we'll see how we go with extra water and nutrients. The way that this is working, super easy, is my solar pump is in this little blue barrel. It is pumping water into this, and then I've got little drippers, just dripping like that, into the grow medium. And there are all the roots there, so that pot will come up, or you can take the whole lid off and see how everything is going. Going really, really well. So. That system there is connected to this as well because that pump is about 600 liters an hour, so it is a little bit of an overkill. If you use the pump that these come with, obviously it's a smaller pump and it works equally as well. It did turn up with an extra one of these and it was sitting right there. And then all I've done is turn this little T bit round and I've got the water trickling down below as opposed to it just relying on this and pumping back and then going back through this and recirculating that way. It's just an easier way with gravity, so if nothing can go wrong, if anything leaks, the water stays in the barrel, it doesn't just leak out. That was my only other issue with the last system. Because it didn't go by gravity, it kind of did, kind of didn't. If you sprung a leak, you'll just lose all your hydroponic solution. So it's been about five weeks. I'm replacing the hydroponic solution probably every two weeks, so this is the third time I've done it. So say let's say six weeks or so. Yes, all I'm doing with these is I am suspending them on chains. Well, suspending them? I'm not suspending them. They're attached to chains so they don't flop over. A very easy way of doing it. If you want an even easier way, all these buckets here, which all it is, and I'll show you with this one down here, a bucket with a hole in the top of the bucket and a pot with holes in it. So this one has just been planted, but you can just start to see roots like that. You want the first sort of maybe two centimeters or inch or so of that in the water, and then the roots will actually start to take hold. With that, that's your hydroponic solution in the bottom. And there is also a little hole, if we go around the side, drilled there. So if it does rain, it's not going to overflow the whole bucket and you're not gonna lose a ton of your solution and flood your roots and all that. 
So I'm using about a 20 litre bucket and that is pretty much the right size for a tomato plant that's going to get about three or four foot tall. Obviously you can trim the tomato plants down a little bit to keep them in manageable sort of size. These pots I think are about oh, 15 centimetres, so what's that, about five or six inches in diameter to give you an idea. But long as you've got decent area for the roots to grow, that one hasn't started its roots yet either. Oh, just a little tiny, tiny bit there. Yeah, once the roots hit the hydroponic solution, they will go crazy. I'm not watering these at all, so there's enough humidity and moisture in there to go through the medium. And that is just like a little fired clay ball, lichen or lichen or something like that. You can use scoria, you could use pebbles, you could use perlite, pretty much anything that yeah, just holds the plant in place. So these tomato seedlings were just established in a little bit of foam sort of what these ones were and then the foam has just been placed in that solution you know down the bottom just so it's got a little bit of a moisture and then it's just taking off from there if we have a look at this one which gets a little bit more sun there are the roots there just starting to get into a hydroponic solution so once that happens it will start sucking up all the nutrients from that and it's going to grow like crazy the good thing with this system Sorry, carrot, just moved one of my carrots. I do have way, way too many carrots and way too many vegetables planting, but everything is going super well. So why it's going well, we'll just let it go well. <laughs> very, very easy. You don't even need to really top up the solution. You just let it keep going down and down and down and it'll grow more and more roots. By the time these tomatoes are ready to harvest, I've probably topped the solution up like once or something like that very easy. Obviously this little system here is just no good for tomatoes. This was just a bit of shits and giggles and we'll see what happens with this but I don't even think I can take these pots out. Oh I can. No I can't. Those are the roots in there. That is going to completely clog that and it's going to overflow and destroy everything but that's half the fun of gardening isn't it? <laughs> Destroying stuff. But yes, just a quick update video on showing a few people how this is going because a lot of people have asked, a lot of people think it's a fail. It's fine. It works really, really well and decent roots. I don't really want to disturb this one, but yeah, all way down in the bottom. So that's going to pretty much fill up with roots. The only issue you can have is that little hole there, the overflow hole that can get clogged with roots. And if that does, you're going to lose all your hydroponic solution. It's going to flood the bath. The bucket thing but I mean as long as you're looking at it every few days it's not an issue like if they don't have water they're going to start to wilt and you're going to notice them wilting so yeah and if you don't notice stuff like that you shouldn't probably be gardening <laughs> otherwise the cage is going well check out my beans they have grown right to the top so these are, I think, some purple king beans. I've never grown those before. They are just hanging on chains right to the top. I have Mr. Skeleton with beans wrapping around him as well. Got one leg, still going through the other leg. Yeah, so there you go. Exciting stuff. There will be another update on this, so feel free to subscribe. If you haven't commented or anything, just comment down below. That would be wonderful. I'm super new to gardening. I do know about water chemistry, hydroponics seems relatively easy compared to aquaponics. And talking about aquaponics, if you missed my last video before this one, I changed the aquaponics to hydroponics in my strawberry system as well. Oh, have they gone crazy. Check out how nice that strawberry looks. It doesn't even look real. Yes. So if you've never done hydroponics before, give it a go. It is super, super easy. There's a quite a few videos on showing how all this system works, but it works super, super easy. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, click the thumbs up so I know. If you've got any comments, comment down below, as I said before, and that would be wonderful. If you want to watch other stuff on the screen, lots of other videos, so much fun. If you're not even doing gardening, find some pots, do some gardening. Everything I have is technically in a pot, which is kind of crazy. Yes, including uh, corn, which is, going to be an issue in another month or so but hey that's half the fun 
we'll see what we do with a cornfield in pots soon. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next video.